Buenos Aires, Argentina is a city of 15 million people located on the Rio de la Plata on the southeastern side of South America. And it has attracted expats from all over South America and many other places looking for a world-class city with a less expensive cost of living. But what does it really cost to live here? Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Emily. And we've taken early retirement so that we can slow travel around the world, spend more time with our families, and work on projects that matter to us. This month, we've rented an apartment in the beautiful Palermo neighborhood of Buenos Aires. This area has tree-lined streets, botanical gardens, and lots of restaurants. But how much does it all cost? Let's look at the prices of products and services across six different categories. If you've been to Buenos Aires, please share your experiences with us in the comments. Also, a quick note about the prices here in Buenos Aires. Argentina is going through a huge amount of inflation right now. As the cost of living goes up, the city is becoming unaffordable for many people. It's a really sad situation. It is such a beautiful city, but unfortunately the salaries being earned here are not keeping up with the skyrocketing inflation. So here are all the prices we've been experiencing in January 2024. We'll be giving the prices in the US dollar even though everything here is paid for in Argentinian pesos. Right now, the US dollar comes to about 1,000 Argentinian pesos. So if a pizza costs 4,300 pesos, you divide by 1,000 and the pizza is about $4.30. And yes, you can get a medium-sized pizza for about that price here. Let's start with groceries. There are lots of places to buy food around here, from the larger supermarkets like Cado and Capfour to the smaller specialized shops with pastries and fruits and vegetables. At the grocery store, we bought six eggs for $1.15, a loaf of bread for $2.77, a jar of peanut butter for $2.66, a red pepper for 85 cents and four rolls of toilet paper for two dollars and 55 cents our entire grocery bill for a full week cost us 50 dollars and we went out to eat about three times too and that brings us to our next category restaurants there is so much good food here and so many different options too from famous argentinian parillas or grilled meat restaurants to cuisine from other parts of south america and the world and prices vary a lot too this is the home of the famous michelin starred Don Julio restaurant, which can cost more than $100 per person. But you can also buy delicious empanadas from a little stand for less than 50 cents each. And there is everything in between. Em and I splurged at this little known but highly rated sandwich shop, where we spent $12 on a sandwich and a side of nachos. But we'll do more on the food in Buenos Aires in another video. On to our third category, rent. There are lots of apartment rental style options here. If you're only staying here for a short time, like we are, you might need to pay a little bit extra. But if you're a slow traveler or expat able to sign a longer six month or year long lease, then you might be able to find a small apartment for about 400 a month. But even if you're a slow traveler only here for a few months, there are still lots of variances in prices, depending on whether you're booking on one of the larger platforms or if you're working directly with a realtor or an apartment owner. You can end up paying two to four times as much on a larger booking platform, but those platforms also offer some convenience and added security, so you need to weigh the pros and cons of each. Now let's talk about transportation. This city is very walkable, so depending on where you're going, that might be the best way to get there. I love all the tree-lined streets and well-controlled intersections that make it easier to cross as a pedestrian. And I really love any walk that took me over this fun painted bridge. This railing is not as high as you would expect it to be. The first time I went over it, I took the time to explore it from all angles. It's so pretty. And just around the corner is the Florales Henérica. And it's a good spot to take a break from all the walking. If you're mesmerized by the tulip, there are plenty of different seating options, so you can just have a seat and stare at it all day long. It's very comfortable. If you get tired of walking, public transportation, along with taxis or ride-sharing apps, are other ways to get around the city. Public transportation requires a Subay card, which costs about a dollar. 
Once you have that, you can take the bus or metro for about 50 cents. The other option is a taxi or ride chair. We used Uber a lot. For example, we paid $4 for the 20 minute ride from Palermo to San Telmo. Let's move on to personal care. I just got my nails done for $15. And I also joined a gym. It's three floors, has two fitness studios and a cycling studio, and my monthly membership was $20. And our last category is entertainment because there's so much to do here in Buenos Aires. We're in a few expat groups and there's stuff going on every single day. Some things can cost a bit of money, especially if you're going to a bar or a show. But there are also things you can do for free. We spent last Sunday walking around the botanical gardens and eco park. We also visited this theater turned bookstore that National Geographic named the world's most beautiful bookstore. Inside we found the Spanish version of this Canadian treasure. Buenos Aires offers a lower cost of living than many other world-class cities. It also has beautiful parks and amazing architecture and a lower crime rate than many other cities in Latin America. But if you're thinking about staying here for longer than a few months, you might face some challenges that slow travelers don't experience because they move around a little more frequently. The inflation rate makes taking out money harder than you might think. The country is under new leadership and the impact of that has not yet been really seen. And buying things like electronics can be more challenging than you might imagine. For example, if you like to play video games like I do, you might be thinking about buying a PlayStation 5. The Sony store in Argentina has a list price of 1200 US dollars. Yes, it's $1,200 for a PlayStation 5 from the Sony store here in Argentina. But that same PS5 from the Sony store in the US is less than half the price at $500. If you're doing slow travel, then you're likely going to be able to avoid some of these high priced items. But if you're here for the long term, that may not be an option. We are loving Buenos Aires. We've met so many amazing people here, like our Spanish teacher who's teaching us about Argentinian culture. But we also know that our stay here allows us to see the best of the city without experiencing the challenges that many locals are facing. We can definitely see why it's such a popular destination for expats and long-term travelers. And that's our video for today. We'll see you in the next one.